a historic visit to the DRC by the Belgian royal couple. King Philip and Queen Matilde were joined by President Chisekedi and the First Lady for a cultural ceremony at the DRC's National Museum. The Belgian King and the DRC President unveiled an ancient mask created by an artist from the ethnic Suku group. This is a symbolic step which marks the beginning of the improvement of the cultural relations between the Kingdom of Belgium and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thousands of Congolese statues, ivory masks and musical instruments were taken from the DRC by Belgian soldiers between 1900 and 1960. Many of them are displayed at Belgium's Africa Museum. In 2019, the DRC president demanded the return of the artworks. The artworks that were illegally acquired by Belgian soldiers and collectors during the colonial period will be kept in this museum in Kinshasa when they are handed back to Congolese authorities. A commission has been set up in Belgium to identify the stolen artworks and start the process of returning them. The decision to return the artworks has been welcomed by many people in the DRC. And I think this is the beginning of a new era, which we're going to live to respect each other because we are independent. And we, we want Belgium to understand that we are free, we are a sovereign country, and we want to live in partnership with Belgium than thinking that we're still in colonization. King Philip's visit to the DRC comes two years after he wrote a letter to President Chisekedi expressing his deepest regrets over the abuses committed by his country during the colonial period. The reign of his ancestor, King Leopold II, was marked by the killing of about 10 million Congolese. Some of the locals hope his visit will address the current security challenges the country is facing. We want the relationship between Belgium and the DRC to go back to normal. It should be based on honesty and mutual respect. Our country was recently attacked by a neighbour, but Belgium didn't say a word. That shocked us. It's like we're still in the colonial days. The Belgian king is set to hold a ceremony in the DRC parliament and deliver a speech to university students in the southeastern city of Lubumbashi on Friday. His visit was scheduled to take place in June 2020, but it was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic.